Hi! In this video you learn how to put your fully interactive prototypes from Keynote onto your phone. So this video kind of builds up on my previous video on how to prototype within Keynote. Um, you might want to check it out. I'm including the link into the video. I'm going to outline the different ways on how to publish prototypes from Keynote to your phone. Uh, this video does not cover how to create such prototypes within Keynote. Um, but I talked about this topic in a previous video of mine. So if you want to know more about that, just check it out. So the first way on how to put your prototypes from Keynote to your phone is by recording that prototype within Keynote, exporting it into a video and then moving that video to your phone. It's quite easy. You can simply click on play and record slideshow. But before that, you have to think about the timings within your prototype because with each click, um, you're defining when an animation happens and this will be essentially in the recording at the end. So once you clicked on that, you have to manually start the recording and then everything will start from its own. Um, of course, for all the manual transitions, you have to click. So we'll do that, start the recording. And then the animation starts. I do a click and another click and the last click. And then I finish the recording. I can exit the screen. So now when I click on play, I can see um, that I have the possibility to clear the recording, which means there is a recording. And now I'm going to export it as a QuickTime video. And I'm selecting a custom format, which is of course the same as my slides, 750 by 13, whoops, 34. The compression type is fine here. I'm just clicking on next. And I'm just saving it on the desktop. And that's it for this step. Um, the next step is to move this to your phone. You can choose any way you want on this. You can choose um, iTunes, you can send it by mail, you can put it on Dropbox, whatever you want. I'll put the video on my phone now and I'm back in a sec. So if you have transferred the video to your phone, it's quite straightforward to use it. Just open the video, click on play and the animation starts. Um, the difficult part here is now to mimic the interactions just to make it sort of look like it's a true application. Um, but this can be the way for you if you're only looking for a video or a screencast, maybe to put that into a presentation because it's much quicker if you don't have to insert all the interactive areas that I'm going to talk about in the next section of this video. So the second way and surely the more realistic way is to just use the Keynote file and put it onto your mobile Keynote app. So this is probably only for iPhone users. But um, since you're now controlling the animations manually, it makes it a much more realistic experience. And you can even take it one step further by adding hot areas or clickable areas uh, for additional interaction possibilities. So I think I do not need to show you um, two separate ways uh, in which one is just to leave the file as it is. So I will show you now how to add the hot areas or interactive areas, whatever you want to call them, and how to move the entire file to your phone. So for this, I'm using just regular rectangles and you want to remove all the styles so it's basically invisible 
it will still work though. So remove the fill, check if there's no border, remove the shadow and you're fine. So for this first window here, for this first slide, um, I'm just placing the rectangle above this area. So this should be the clickable area at the end. Then you have to right click on this rectangle and click on add link. Then you can select uh, different options here, but we want to stay in our prototype. So we select slide and we specify slide number two, as this is the next slide we want to go to by clicking on this area. Now I'm just copying and pasting it. Um, and here I have this menu bar at the bottom and I want to make it all clickable. So we have two more icons which are included into this uh, in this prototype or not the icons, but uh, more the, the pages that are behind those icons. So I'm just placing it above the mission, missions icon and scaling it down a bit. And I'm changing by you can click on this arrow here so you can change it more quickly. And I'm going to select slide three in this case. Let's copy and paste it. And in this case, I'm selecting slide four. So copy and pasting it. Now that we are already on this screen, we do not need the clickable area for the same screen. So I'm just moving it to the other screen that's not linked here. And I'm changing the uh, slide number accordingly. And the same goes for the last screen. So that's already it. We can try that out here in Keynote on our desktop. And you can see the mouse cursor changes into this pointer icon. So that indicates that I can click on this area. All the animations still work. And down below, I can click on all those icons that I just specified. So for moving that Keynote file from your computer to your phone, um, I think the two easiest ways are to use either iCloud or iTunes. I'm going to show you now how to use iTunes to get the file from your computer to your phone. So at first, you want to open up iTunes. I apologize um, that everything is in German here, um, but I am sure you will recognize everything in your uh, language. So you start up in this overview screen and you want to start, uh, you want to head over to the apps section. Then you have to scroll down to this area where you can basically move files to all the apps you have installed. Select Keynote and then you can either drag and drop or click on this add button and just select the files you want to move. In this case, I'm having three files for this video. You don't have to click anything else then synchronize now. And that's it. Once on your phone, it's really easy to manage the files within the Keynote app. Uh, one thing you maybe have to do is import it from your transferred source, so maybe iTunes or something like that, but that's really not difficult. Um, then when you have the file in your Keynote app, you just have to open it by tapping on it and start the whole thing. In this case, the first animation start, started automatically because I set it up this way, um, but it's now really interactive. So if I tap here, the first slide opens. I can navigate through the screens down below and it's really close to a final product. It feels really good. It looks like it's uh, fully working and nobody honestly would think that this is a keynote presentation. So these were the two most popular ways on how to put your Keynote prototypes to your phone. Um, both have their advantages and disadvantages. I would always recommend the one with the interactive areas. Um, of course, it takes more time to set up, but uh, it can also be easily used in a user testing environment. So 
is really close to a final product. If you're interested in more keynote prototyping videos, let me know. Maybe by um, leaving a thumbs up or a comment. Anyways, a subscription would be much appreciated. I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.